This video is for anybody trying to import data sets into MySQL Workbench, which is useful for practicing real queries, especially any query with more complex combinations. Today, I am going to use the website Kaggle.com to download a CSV data file. I'll include the links and info in the description below. Hello guys, before we get started I just want to remind you to like and subscribe if you find this video useful. Alright, so if you go to Kaggle.com and you already have an account, you're going to start here. If you don't have an account, you can sign in through Google or whatever, it's pretty easy. But right now I'm going to go to datasets, and if you find the filter, I'm going to look for only the best rated data sets. You can search for a wide variety of subjects, but I'm looking for NBA players, so NBA. And just like that, the top one is a 10 and it's gold and it looks like it's a pretty good data set. So just click on that once you find a pretty good rated data set and click download. And if you don't have an account, like I said, it will ask you to sign in first. Once you find the data you're looking for, it should end up being a CSV file, which is perfect to import into MySQL. It's going to start off as a zip file and you just got to extract everything and find the CSV. Let's open up MySQL Workbench. Now I've already created a new schema to import to called NBA Players, but I'll show you what you could do. If you're in the Schemas tab in the Navigator, you can right click to create new schema, or you could use this button. Just choose a name that represents your data like NBA players, and then apply. Let's see. Then pretty much just apply again, and it's really easy. Then after you create a new schema, you should right click and choose Table Data Import Wizard. Then all you got to do is find the Kaggle CSV file for the data set that you just downloaded. Create new table and click on drop table if exists. Click next. And most of these columns should automatically be in the right field type or whatever. So. I think I'm going to change the age to an int because we don't need half ages or fractions of ages. But other than that, I'll just leave it all the same. And now we should just have to click next again and it's going to import. This is a pretty large data set so it might take a minute. Yeah, ten, over 10,000 records imported, so it literally took a minute. <laughs> Alright, I forgot to hit record on the last step, so after it's done importing, if you don't see the new table under the schema, then just right click on it and hit refresh all and it should pop up. Do a quick query to make sure we got all the records and we've got NBA players. Going all the way back to eh, like the 90s. Let's see, 
the first season, yeah, all the way back to the 96, 97 season. So now that we have all the records, let's do one more query just to find my boy from the Oklahoma City Thunder. And there he is. So he was drafted in 2018. And he was drafted by the Clippers. And then he got traded with a package including Paul George to OKC. And it looks like he's been playing for five seasons. His height <laughs> looks like he shrunk uh, during, what, what was it, 2019-2020 by a few centimeters and then he went back to his regular height too. So it looks like the records work. Data set is in good shape.